we published this information in the International Journal of Cosmetic Science because there was very little information known about the effects of alcohol systems on skin. Over the last several years, we evaluated these alcohol systems, including ethanol, isopropanol, and n-propanol, to evaluate the repeated application of these systems on skin because the repeated application is particularly relevant in the healthcare market. Until this study, there was very little information known about the effects of alcohol systems on skin, particularly at hand hygiene rates uh, similar to what's experienced in the healthcare setting. Low hand hygiene rates, which we consider to be 20 or less times a day, and high hand hygiene rates, which we consider to be up to 100 times a day. We did two different types of study. The first study was a clinical study where we had 26 nurses who came in and applied these different alcohol systems over a two week period. Some of the systems were applied up to several thousand times over that two week period. The information that we learned there was very valuable, but we wanted to further back that up with some laboratory studies which we conducted in both the United States and in England, okay, to look at biomarkers, okay, we took actual skin cells, applied the alcohol systems on these skin cells, and evaluated several different biomarkers to understand the biochemical effects of the alcohol systems on skin. What we found from the clinical study was that the ethanol was particularly more tolerated by the skin than either of the other alcohol systems, isopropanol and particularly n-propanol. We also found out that ethanol at application rates as high as 100 times a day were more tolerated by skin than the n-propanol at 20 times a day. The problems that we encountered in this study was that we set threshold criteria for the treatments. The n-propanol started reaching these irritation levels within a matter of days and over the two weeks period we had significant dropouts in the n-propanol treatments that caused a major statistical disadvantage in analyzing this data set. We resolved these challenges from the clinical study by moving into the laboratory. We conducted biomarker studies both in laboratories in the United States and in Europe. Collectively, this data shows that ethanol-based systems are far superior to other types of alcohol systems. This is even more relevant in the research that was conducted showing application rates up to 100 times a day, which is very relevant for the healthcare setting. Keep in mind that these were only base alcohol systems. Finished alcohol systems of modern alcohol-based hand rubs use additional ingredients to bring more benefit to the skin and more skin tolerability, which is critical for the healthcare worker.